So I would call this a uh, short to medium term review of our uh, wine enthusiast. I believe it's about a 175 bottle fridge. Um, they do tell you that you'll get fewer than that if you use bigger red bottles. I've gotten almost that many in there, uh, mostly because all of these bottles in here are for essentially personal consumption. Um, and I don't care if the label gets scuffed up a little bit, um, pulling shelves in and out just because ultimately the bottles are for us to enjoy and for nothing else. So, um, you know, these aren't uh, collector investment bottles where I plan to sell them and want the label in perfect condition. So a couple things that I've done that I find helpful, I have both an analog thermometer as well as a digital thermometer and a humidity monitor in here. Um, I also put a little glass dish of water at the bottom to keep the humidity level. Um, it seems like it stays in about the mid 60s. Um, as long as I do that without it in there, it drops down to about 50. Um, I set ours at 54 uh, because the way that the, the temperature works, it, uh, it uses a range. And when I have it 54, it basically stays between 54 and 57 up here. As you can see, the analog showing about 58, the digital showing about 58. But actually, even more interesting than that, and I'm going to pan out and grab my infrared thermometer. This is just like a $20 cheap thermometer. Um, so if we take the temperature of a bottle right there, we see it's 57.3. If we take a temperature of the bottle here, 58. 58. Now this thermometer is plus or minus about two degrees. So just, it's good to compare um, one bottle to another, but it's not an exact reading. But then if we pull out a shelf, I'm gonna try and pull one that I don't think has any, yeah, any snags. So if we get to one on the back, those bottles run significantly colder. Let's see if we can pull out one more shelf and grab a reading. Yeah. So something to keep in mind, I guess, is if you want a consistent, perfect temperature throughout, um, it might not be the unit for you. If you're okay with everything being sort of generally between, and then I also wanted to show a couple more bottles. Um, I feel like these are usually, uh, yeah. So again, when it reads 58, it could be anywhere from 56 to 60, but we do know that because those are, we do know that they're probably about six degrees warmer than the bottles in the back. So the, actual temperature that you set it to, you have to know that when you get this, it's not going to be perfect. Uh, you have to know that the bottles within the unit are going to have some variation in temperature. Um, and again, you know, I'm generally fine with that sort of 52 to 58 degree swing um, with, you know, some decent humidity in there. I feel like that's a very reasonable uh, temperature for these are all sort of short to medium term consumption. I'm not aging any of these for more than uh, 10 years in here. So um, I'm not worried about it, but it, it's definitely something if you think this is going to be your uh, solution to not having to install a real quote unquote cellar in your house, uh, that may not be the case.